Hi everybody, this is Angelo Quinones and you reach Iron Ministries. Iron Ministries is designed to give you dependable and accurate answers that come straight from God's holiness by word the Bible. Both by E and Marin Shmada means how's it going in modern Greek and Hebrew respectively. And my name again is Angelo. Now, um, let's pray be before we get into this Bible study on the Trinity. And particularly, we're going to be speaking on the third person of the Trinity, not in class. That's just a that's just a number order. Okay, if you have three apples on the table, I mean, you could go one to three in in three different and four different ways. You know what I mean? You could go from left to right and count. You could go to right from uh, right to left, uh, left to right and count. Right to left and count, from the middle to the right and count, or to the middle to the left and count. Doesn't make a difference. It's just, you know, three apples on the table, you can count in four different ways, okay? That's just a deal. Or you don't have to count, you know? That's just a deal. Holy Father, we come to you, praising your holy name, because it is great and you are great. We come to speak to to these precious things those are who have been given the the gift of, of teaching or preaching and we're responsible to who much is given much shall be required so i just pray that we humbly seek your face for forgiveness right now um i pray in jesus name that you will cleanse me of my sins oh my god and father as i come to you in humble adoration and prayer and worship and Oh, Lord Jesus, I, I come to you and pray as well. I just pray that uh, this study may be pleasing in, in your sight and be edifying and build up your your people, your dear people who are called by your name. So I just pray that you will give me boldness, assuredness, and power to do this this, this blessed and, and um, pleasant Bible study. And I thank you for all things. Um, I just I, I actually uh, pray for the for the peaceful capture of, um, of the one who was loose uh, from prison um, and was captured today without without a shot fired. So I just I just I, I, I pray for his salvation. He doesn't deserve prayer, but neither do we. Uh, we don't deserve salvation either. And uh, so I just pray that someone may witness to him um, in, in in jail and um and uh, he may receive um your forgiveness uh because he's going to spend the rest of his life there so i just i just pray that that someone will go to him and and preach the truth that the truth the true story of jesus um may that go to him first <clears throat> in jesus name i thank you for all things for uh, i pray for the protection of my family my children of my family in the United States, and um, and I pray for myself for 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 my protection as well. Uh, in Jesus' name, I pray all these things and much more. You know my heart, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, guys, this is the crew that God is the key. Now, I was going to do a side view of the study, but um, I repented from that idea <laughs> because the thing is that. Um, the phone is is basically the screen is is you can't see everything on the screen, especially when you tilt it, you know, to the to the left hand side. So it's hiding some of the letters of the Greek. So like in the, in, the, in the Greek word uh, bemso, we're gonna look at that. It's in a future tense. It's hiding the p. Now I know it's there, but still, um, you know, I don't like to 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 teach like that from from an app like from a from a phone like this. That's why I need another phone. And so, um, you know, I have it in a vert vertical view. I'll have it in a vertical view of you guys until uh, I get a new phone and then I go uh, horizontally, which is basically better, you know, um, to do. But this is this will fit nicely on your on your cell phone. All right, so let's uh, check out the English here from the NASB, and it says something like this quote. When the Helper, and it's capitalized because the Helper is the Holy Spirit. When the, when the Helper comes, whom I will send, whom I will send to you from the Father, meaning God the Father, that is the Spirit of truth, who, 
uh, proceeds who proceeds from the Father. He will testify in the future tense there. He will testify about me. Okay. So uh, let's just let's just just read on, even though we're not going to really study verse twenty-seven too much. And you will testify also because you have been with me from the beginning okay now this teaches okay about the holy spirit's uh ministry part of his ministry anyway he has a lot of a lot of a lot of functions okay in the kirk in the, in the church and one of the functions is to be a, 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 a parakletas, actually, parakletas. A lot of people say parakletas, so they have the wrong emphasis on the wrong part of the, on, on, on the wrong part of the word, actually, parakletas, actually. And um, so he is a helper. He comes alongside para, right, to help us. Okay, one of the things he does is harbor our groanings, okay, uh, uh, and you see uh, Psalm 102, verse 5, uh, the person groaning there, and actually we groan, being in his tabernacle, or being in this, this home, being in his house, okay, um, uh, uh, oikia, actually uh, in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter chapter 5, uh, around verses 2 and 4, it says it, it says it, uh, twice that, that the Christian uh, groans. We see also the groanings of the children of Israel actually groaning around chapter 2 and uh, of Exodus. And uh, so it's, it's we do that, that do the groanings. Okay, the Holy Spirit doesn't groan. That's just, a, that's just besides the point. But the Holy Spirit is a person and he does uh, many things uh, for a Christ a body. We saw in our Trinitarian, uh, in our Trinity discussion, actually, um, pleasant to the Trinitarian uh, 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 eye, that he actually um, distributes, okay, the spiritual gifts uh, individually. It says over there that he does in verse 11 of chapter 12 of First Corinthians. So he's responsible in distributing uh, the gifts and, and, and giving the gifts according to his will, it says over there. So that's just a, so he has a will. So he has a mind. He has a will. He knows all things. He's omniscient. He's he's uh, omnipresent. He's he's uh, he's uh, omnipotent. I mean, he is God. Now, I already mentioned that the word order really doesn't matter when it comes to the Trinity. Sometimes he's first. Sometimes he's last. Sometimes Jesus is uh, first. Sometimes he is he's. Uh, uh, mentioned second. Sometimes uh, the father is mentioned third. Sometimes he's not. You know, um, uh, first. Sometimes he's first. Sometimes he's not. Sometimes he's a third. Okay, and it's not just like in. It's just like <clears throat> okay in First uh, Corinthians chapter of twelve verses four, five, and six. The Holy Spirit is first. So it's not a ranking. It's not like he's in first. He's in third class, and everybody else is in first and second place. And then the Holy Spirit takes third prize. No, it's nothing like that at all. The Holy Spirit is equally God with any with anyone else in the pool of the Trinity. Is is that clear? I mean, he's not he's no less than God than anyone else, anyone, including the Father. Okay, it doesn't say that the Father is greater than the Holy Spirit. It says that the Father is greater than Jesus because Jesus became man and God is greater than man says in the book of kings right so um there's, there's no surprise that it says that that, that he's greater it doesn't say he's better by the way Creson or Creton. okay it doesn't say that that he's better uh than jesus but he's greater in the sense that um that he is greater than the um the, the, he's greater because he sent jesus right jesus didn't send himself the, the father sent him and so uh, he became actually uh, better than uh, Jesus because he sent Jesus. And the servant is not greater uh, than uh, the master. 
uh, is recorded in the New Testament, right? That's just a deal. Now, um, again, let's just read this text before we get into the Greek, okay? This is going to be a quick study. It says over here, when, okay, hatan, Greek word hatan, the uh, helper, okay, parakletas, uh, comes, and I believe that's Elfe there, uh, home, and I believe that's Han, but we're going we're gonna to look at it in the masculine uh, construction, by the way. Uh, accusative masculine, a uh, relative pronoun. I will send, and that's uh, Pempso. Not Pempo, but Pempso. And we're going to see why the PC is there. Uh, to you, who mean from, and I believe that's para, okay, the patras, the father. That is the, that is the spirit, Panuma, of truth, Aletheia, who, okay, uh, proceeds from the father he will testify okay and that's in the future tense we're going to see the sigma there very clearly before the uh personal ending there um uh in the in the third person third person personal ending from the primary active personal ending uh, uh box chart if you will uh about me okay he will uh he will testify or witness about me so you see the evidence of someone someone speaking okay in the holy spirit a full of the holy spirit the fullness of the holy spirit is mentioned and recorded 14 times in the in the in the, in the new testament at least in the greek is mentioned all 14 different times the baptism of the holy spirit is different than that that's mentioned and recorded seven times in uh the new testament okay what is the difference? Well, the difference the difference is that uh, the baptism of, of the Holy Spirit is the identification, okay, the identification uh, into the body of Christ. Uh, so that's a work that that we don't do. We're you know some people get it you know twisted. They get it in reverse that you know we're told to seek the baptism of the Holy Spirit. We can't. That's already done to the Christian. Okay, and that's recorded in First Corinthians chapter twelve. It's already, we we already been baptized into the body of Christ. All right, the fullness of the Holy Spirit we're taught to seek. Uh, Ephesians chapter five very clearly: Do not be drunk with 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 uh, with, uh, with wine. Okay, but be be filled with the Holy Spirit. That's probably an imperative over there, either a subjunctive or an imperative. Uh, has to be one of the two, and and that's found and recorded in. Um, and I believe in uh, chapter 5 of, uh, of uh, like I said, of, of Ephesians. And so, um, so that's just a deal. I'm sorry about that, guys. All right, now let's get into the Greek, okay? Because like I said before, it's going to be a quick study. So let's check it out. All right, now, um, let me see over here. This is not it there. Um, I believe this is it right here. It should be. Let me see the first word there. When? Okay, this is it. Now, um, incidentally, we have um, basically, okay, um, 5,000, probably 5,600 manuscripts by now um, altogether of the Greek New Testament, probably very close to 6,000 Greek manuscripts and over 20,000, well over 20,000 manuscripts overall of different languages, including probably nine or 10,000 uh, Latin manuscripts. So we have a lot of evidence of this uh of this now the earliest existing gospel of john okay um uh, p66 papyri 66 okay uh is the oldest existing gospel of john that we have and it's a fragment of of a called uh p uh, 50 I, I believe p50 i think p52 or p53 um uh, that that actually um, P fifty two I believe it is, and uh, that's actually a fragment of the Gospel of John I believe in uh, John chapter eight uh, from John chapter eighteen, and you see uh, you know uh, 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 a dialogue between uh, Pontius Pilate and uh, and our blessed Lord and um, that's recorded in in both sides of that uh, small very very small papyri. Okay, so that's just it. Now I don't know why people. Uh, someone said a long time ago, well, I don't know what, what are you talking about 
What do you mean by documents? Okay, end quote. These are documents. Okay, these are, these are documents. So whether it be Greek or whatever the case may be, these are documents. I mean, that's just the deal. Now, um, there's a conjunction here, uh, when, okay, hatan, and that's just it, and actually that's uh, the lexical form, uh, hatan, spelled out capital Omicron, nowadays called Omicron, tau, nowadays called tough, and alpha, and nu, nowadays called ni. So in modern Greek, you have different pronunciation for the names of these letters, of so some of them anyway, not all, but some. And then, uh, so that's over here, that's an ASA, uh, Aris Subjunctive Active, uh, comes, okay, Elte. Now, the Eta has an Iota subscript, that's pointing out the subjunctive here, okay, uh, the Eta is, that's a subjunctive morphine, uh, just like an Omega can be, in, in other words, uh, a subjunctive morphine, just look like, uh, just look at, um, uh, Esselman, I found a recording of Greek Septuagint in, uh, in several places, but in, in, in particular, one I have in mind, uh, the, the Trinity uh, verse, one of the Trinity uh, verses of Scripta, uh, okay, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, let us make man, you know, uh, Esselman, uh, Antro uh, Pan, I believe, I think that's an accusative, Antro Pan there, let us make man according to our image. And likeness, when when comes elte. Now elte is a is a deponent word. That's a oh, oh my word, uh, erchomai, and that's why it's active up above there. It's it's, it's not it's 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 uh it's, it's um it's a uh, it's just a deponent word over here. Now the formula in the present for uh, a deponent word is that. Uh, a deponent word, though, okay, middle or passive in form, is active in meaning, end quote, okay? Uh, a deponent word, though, middle or passive in form, because the lexical form is going to be middle or passive, you know, you got the my there, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, middle or passive form is, act oh my, is active in meaning, it's still active in meaning. So, um, you know, so when you see something that seems to be passive, you have to look at this, you have to see, um, uh, you know, if it's a deponent word and, and you see in the present there in the lexicon, right? Uh, you see that the world is in the present. Well, that's, a, that's, that's right there, a, 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 a positive proof that actually is active in meaning. Even though it's, it's passive in form, middle or passive in form is active in meaning. Okay, so that's just all there is to it. So, I mean, if the JWs come to us and say, well, you know, Jesus was passive or the Holy Spirit was passive or whatever the case may be, that really doesn't have to do anything with, 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 with the Holy Spirit speaking, whatever the case may be. I think uh, I think that's a passive construction found in recording, John chapter 16, verse 13, for well, the Holy Spirit. Uh, but I, I actually studied it uh, last week or so. Um, I said in my study, or if it wasn't that verse, it wasn't another verse. Um, well, I mean, you know, um, he still was active. It, it was in the present also. So he was still active. Even though it's, a, it's, a, it's an oh my word. So you, you, you see, you trace the word, and if it's an oh my word in the lexicon, okay, you know that you have to be careful with it because, you know, it just might be, an, it just might be active, even though it's, a, it's a, in the lexicon, it's a middle or passive form. A deponent word, though middle, uh, though middle and passive, and, 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 and though middle and passive in form, is active in meaning. Just tell that to the witnesses, okay? Very important to, to you know, oh, that's in a passive voice. Okay, first of all, do you know what the passive is? Let me see the passive, give me the passive uses, and I'm always going to look for the classical, because I like those better. You know, the um, the passive voice with direct agent, the passive voice with uh, intermediate agent, and the passive voice with impersonal agent. Okay, let me know which which is that one and found and recorded in John chapter 1, verse 3, the one that you're talking about. Oh, I don't know. 
Oh, you really don't know. And oh, so you're telling me who Jesus is, and you don't know about the passive uses. And if they, you know, if they want to get, you know, modern, I could get into the modern uh, uh, way of putting it. You know, I just like uh, the manual grammar of the Greek New Testament by uh, Professor Dana and Manti. Um, you know, so it's very easy to remember those three, like three classical uses of the passive voice. Do you know them? No. Uh, so get them into trouble, the witnesses. Don't let them get you into a corner. You know, you have to you get them into a corner. You know, so that's just the deal. Anyway, so uh, conjunction, the conjunction hatan is there. Uh, the ASA construction in the word um, uh, erchamai is there. And then that's in this active here, elte comes. Okay, aris, subjunctive active. Okay, elte. Um, and then, uh, the, uh, the is there, um, in English, and you, so you have a, uh, nominative masculine singular construction found thousands of times, I believe, in, uh, what, tw I heard like 20,000, is that right, 20,000 times that the article's found, recorded in the Greek New Testament, that's a lot of times, if that's true, ha, huh? and that's, it's called a weak demonstrative, so it's not only, a, a something, po Pointing to something being definite. Helper is here, okay, capitalized, respectively so. Barakletas. You see the acute marker over the second syllable there? That's where the emphasis should be on, okay? Not, not you know, above the eta. Uh, the emphasis should, you know, the emphasis shouldn't be on, on clay. It should be on ara. Uh, Bara, barakletas. Okay, that's the that's the deal, and so that's just it. Now let's look at this Greek word, parak parak parakletas. Thirty is tagged by thirty-eight seventy-five according to to the Strong's number of index. There is a GK number also, but this is not it. Definition A, it says an advocate or a lawyer, right? Inter intercessor. B. A counselor. Now, listen. Some translator says counselor, but over here says an intercessor. Are you saying that the Holy Spirit is a false or in the tower? I don't care where you're from. If you're from Islam, you don't believe. You know, you 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 say not Trinity, and then and then the hypocrisy of the Quran is okay. You understand? Um, and, and the reason why they don't accept uh, English Qurans is because it's translated correctly, and so they're, they're, they're manifested to be liars. Okay? You understand what I mean? So that's just the deal. So they don't want any English translations, because they, they know that a lot of people don't speak Aramaic, and so they say, so, oh, well, we'll get them this way. We, we, we won't get them talking to us about anything, even though their Quran says, you know, if you have uh, a question, ask people of the book. That's us. Okay, even though they you, you say you're in a university and then we're in a in high school level of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of 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 learning, and unfortunately the Jewish people, according to the uh, Muslim people, are in uh, are in uh, are in uh, um, you know in uh, in kindergarten or whatever wherever they are at. You understand know what I'm saying? But um, you know, uh, it says ask people the book. Well, that's us. It says in your Quran to ask us. You see what I'm saying? So that's just... A and then you have Muslim people, um, you know, uh, translating the Quran into English. They still don't accept it. You know? Until, you know, people learn Aramaic or, or whatever the case may be and go to them and say, Okay, I, I know. I know Aramaic. Okay, come on. It's just, just the study of Quran. It says, you know, uh, uh, it says, Kill the Christians behind every tree or whatever the case may be. So it's not a peaceful religion at all. Now you got, you got the, you know, you got the... You got the, the Sophias or whatever the case may be that are so-called peaceful people, but let's not get into it too much. I mean, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not them. You know, also, um, I believe, okay, that either in this chapter or uh, the one that that, that that came before in, in chapter fourteen, because it talks about the Holy Spirit there. Can you believe that the that Muslim people actually take that to be a prophecy of Muhammad? I mean, come on, man. This is not a prophecy of Muhammad, man. This is not a prophecy of Muhammad. First of all, it doesn't say Muhammad over here. Okay? You understand what I'm saying? 
Now, the prophecy of Jesus is very clear. The, the word Messiah is found, um, you know, two times. <clears throat> Excuse me, in the book of uh, Daniel. Uh, God is my judge, by the way, Daniel. It's found twice over there in chapter 9. Okay, by, by title, he's called the Messiah. You understand what I'm saying? The Messiah. And exactly when he was to come. Huh? No. He says that he will witness concerning me. Now, you just have him as a prophet. Now, if he's the main focus of, 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 the, of, of testimony, you know, well, then you can't say that, 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 uh, that, uh, that Muhammad is the, is the, uh, is the, is the, is the helper, is the, is the, is the witness, because he, he didn't, he didn't witness of Jesus at all. You understand? Now, also, it says that he will, he, he's with you and shall be in you. Well, Muhammad wasn't in the disciples. You see, it's the same routine that they use. They use our scriptures just like they use uh, the word Alpha Lambda Lambda Alpha A L L A to actually, it's not even capitalized sometimes. When it's not in the beginning of the sentence, the Greek word, okay, Al or Al, which means but. But this, but that, B U T. You understand what I'm saying? They they say, and I don't even know if it was a Muslim who was, it was maybe somebody portraying himself to be a Muslim person. And they use, or he used, actually, um, John chapter five verse thirty to try to prove that 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 the word Alpha Lambda Lambda Alpha in Greek means means Allah, the God of the Muslims. Come on, man, you gotta be, you gotta be really sick to believe that. You understand what I'm saying? That's the stupidity as highest degree. I thought you guys were in a, a university. A, a university. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? That's what I thought you were. According to you guys. And you, you don't even know Greek? Alpha, Lambda, Lambda, Alpha means but. It's not even a title. It's not even a name. Please. Stry, tr stop stealing. Okay. Uh, and not even thought. But stop, stop stealing our Greek. And twisting it around, you understand what I'm saying? I, I thought you didn't even, uh, you said that the scriptures were corrupt. Now, according to um, the Mormon uh, church, I mean, they're, they're, the, they're the offspring of Islam, you understand what I'm saying? I mean, you know, Joseph Smith was the Yankee Muhammad. I mean, that's just all there is to it. I mean, he was a fan of Muhammad. So, I mean, they're, they're, they're you know, they're Plato's children, you understand what I'm saying? So, let's get back to this. Forget about that. Forget about them. Let's go back to this. Oh, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, by the way. Okay, the Holy Spirit. Um, it says over here uh, he is an an advocate. He's an intercessor and uh, a uh, counselor. Now, if you, if you read, okay, in the book of Zechariah, uh, either chapter ten or chapter twelve, um, uh, it says that I will pour out the spirit of supplication, tachanunim. Tachanunim, the spirit of supplication. You understand what I'm saying? So, inter actually, of uh, intercessions or, or prayers, actually. The spirit of, the spirit of, uh, spirit of grace. Chen, uh, chen, actually, nowadays, you know. and uh, But it's in the plural. Uh, ta uh, it's in the plural. Tachanunim, actually, is in the plural. It's uh, the spirit of, of, of intercessions or prayers. Now, it fits perfectly. Okay, with this, that's just the deal. Now, let's continue to look at the Greek. So, we know that the Holy Spirit is a person, and Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, so-called, are lying to you. Every time they, they say that he's a false. Okay? Parakletas, spelled out capital P. Small, alpha, rho, alpha with the cube marker, kappa, lambda, eta, now it's called eta, tau, omicron, and final sigma. Parakletas. Now, whom, okay, it uh, translates this relative pronoun in the accusative masculine sin singular construction. It was not neuter. Whom, okay, that's just the deal. Han here. And the stand, and there's an Omicron with the rub breathing marker, and the grab marker, and, and the new after that. This is a relative pronoun, and some relative pronouns, you have to be careful, they look like articles. Okay, so you have to be careful. The grab marker is what distinguishes, okay, between an article and and uh, and uh, and a uh, relative pronoun. Actually, I think it's a grab marker, isn't it? Isn't it though? Grab marker. Uh, actually, uh, it's uh, 
uh, grab marker over and, and over the accusative and 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 then and the Q marker over the over the numbers of uh, Haas there. Um, okay, Parakletos. Now, ego means I. In Hebrew, it's Ani. Probably Ani in the Hebrew uh, New Testament. And so this is uh, this is uh, ego. This is uh, from the ego mu moi me. Hemes, hemon, hemin, hemas, paradigm. First person personal pronoun and so it doesn't have any gender it has number and case but no gender see the emphatics in uh, emu, emu, uh, eme. also they have emphatic uh, versions of, of some of the ones that I that I that I gave you and uh, second person personal pronouns are uh, susu soy se and uh, who mes who mon who mean who mas um, and they don't have any gender either. Uh, those are second person personal uh, pronouns here. Ego. And that's just the deal. Now sometimes there's a, there's a cross. It says cago. I, I, and I. So uh, they, they, they took out the iota in chi and the epsilon in, in ego. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, made one word of it. it one word out of it and you see it in some manuscripts according to Matthew chapter uh, 16 verse 18 where it has cago there and not uh, and uh, also I like that you know uh, Kai uh, Ego so you see it in some manuscripts <clears throat> that it has the cago the but uh, you don't you don't see it in, in some other ones but there's no cago here it's just a uh, I Ego will send let's check this out this is very this is neat and interesting Look at the lexical form, um, and the lexical form is I send. It's always in the present tense, okay? The, the, the heading, the main vein um, heading, you know, it's in the present tense. Uh, uh, pempo, spelled out P-E-M-P-O or uh, P-Epsilon with the acute marker. Mu, now they called me. P, Omega, and I'm in the Philippines, so I'm sorry about the roosters crowing. I mean, everybody's awake already, goodness gracious. You know what I mean? It does remind you of Peter, though. You know, it's sometimes, you know. But uh, that's just the deal. Now, um, it's, but, it's, <laughs> but it says over here, will send, okay, will send, is in the future tense. Now, how did they put that into the future? How do you know, first of all, how do you know if it's in the future? Very easy, okay. The sigma is one of the most important Greek letters in the Greek alphabet. It could point out an aorist. It could point out a uh, future tense. It could point out uh, that the the the, the that uh, has been reduplicated. It could, I mean it's 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 very very very. I mean you see them in, you see them in infinitives like uh, constructions like psi. You see them in passive uh, constructions like psi as well. My psi psi right. So the sigma is critical, especially in um, in future tense uh, verbs, because you form the future tense by using a sigma. You 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 just tuck it in there, right? Eh, you know, before a connecting vowel or whatever the case may be. And sometimes you don't see the sigma. That could be a problem. Sometimes you don't see it. You you call that a, a liquid future when it's um, you know place. Right after a lambda mu nu or rho, then the sigma drops off. You know, you're not going to see it like an egero found and recorded for Jesus saying, I will rise, meaning I will rise his, I, I, you know, he will raise his body from the dead. Uh -huh. And that's found and recorded in verse 19 of chapter 2 of John. You don't see the sigma there. The sigma was dropped off because it comes after a liquid. It comes after a liquid letter, if you will. So you're not going to see the sigma. Um, but over here, you don't see the sigma, but you know it's there because PC has that sound of a, of a sigma. PC. It has a, a PS sound in it. It's a compound. I call it a compound um, <clears throat> compound sounding letter uh, because it makes two sounds. Uh, PC does that. C does that. Uh, and you have... Um, a uh, sade in Hebrew, a ts sounding letter like an adits in that, in that Hebrew word that means earth, right? Um, so you you see that 
And, this, and you see that in this letter. What's this over here? Sorry about that, guys. Close. Let me get that. So, um, so let me hasten. You do see that. Um, and just in case I'm, I'm shut off, I'll, I'll make this a part one. And then when I can, I'll make a part two. You see that in Pemso. Now, what's the letter that, that, that the Sigma is kind of hidden? Uh, and that you can't see it, but, but the sound is there. Well, per se. So, in order to form a future, you need a sigma here. There's no liquid here, so you need to put the sigma someplace. You need to put it there. Now, um, so the Greeks used the PC that has an S sounding sound in the PC to use the future. So, they killed two birds with one stone. They retained the stem. Remember, the stem is pimp, okay? The stem of the, of the word is pimp, right? So, so, they retained that, and at the same time, they formed the future with it because there's a sigma in there. So you got a PS in the letter already. So you're killing two birds with one stone. You're retaining the stem and then and then you're forming the future tense. Okay, it's just like in English we formed we, we formed the future by using the helping word will. I will go to the store. Well the Greeks don't use a word uh, to form it. They use a letter in the actual in the actual verb to form the future tense. So you don't see a will word anywhere. I'm not talking about that law. I'm not talking about that. But you, 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 you know, you like your will. You know, uh, you know, I, I, I will it to be so. You know, be clean. I'm not talking about that. Found and recorded around the second verse of chapter eight of Matthew. I'm not talking about the will of man, or, or the, uh, the, the will of the Lord there. Okay, uh, cleaning of the leper. I'm talking about will volition. I'm talking about you know, like you know, I will go to. Uh, the concert, or I will go to uh, a church, or I will go to whatever. So that will is in Greek idea is formed by using a letter that actually means to synchronize anyway. Okay, it means synchronize. So the, the sigma means to synchronize. Each of these Greek letters means something. So they picked a letter that they said, well, this has something to do with, with the future because it means synchronize, right? So let's use it for the future tense. And then they did. So the PC actually has the sound of sigma in it, so that's why they used it. Sometimes you could form a future with, with KC. Sometimes you could just place the sigma there. Like we got to see a, a, a upcoming word that has that. And sometimes you don't need the sigma at all uh, to write it down because it comes after a liquid. So anyway, the sigma is the will actually in Greek that people use to form uh, the idea of of a future tense. You understand what I'm saying in the Greek word? All right. Now, will send pempso. So pempo became pempso, actually in the future tense. Pempo is the present tense form. I will send, okay, to you, who mean, we already spoke about our second person personal pronouns. This is who mean, this is in the date of case, that the case of interest, you understand what I'm saying? From, Greek word para, uh, and para is, uh, para is actually a, a, a preposition. And the preposition is, is, is used to show the relationship the two words have with each other. You understand? From the father, two is there, a genitive article. One of 24 Greek articles in the, in the Greek article paradigm, biblical article paradigm. You have, um, you, you have uh, you know, indefinite article. You have an indefinite article paradigm in modern Greek, but that doesn't exist in, in, in biblical Greek, though. Father is uh, patras, and that's in the genitive case. From the father. Okay, from the father. Okay, the, and that's ta, and so that's uh, the spirit. Now, this has to do with grammatical gender, okay? Not actual gender, but grammatical gender. You understand what I'm saying? And so, even though it's neuter, well, so what? It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything theologically because uh, panuma is in, the, is, in the, is in the neuter. Now, remember, there's other possible translations of, of uh, panuma Okay, you understand in 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 Greek, and you see that in uh, you know in a lot of different places. But one that comes to mind is uh, John chapter three. So it's a very neat word to you know showcase you know the 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 person of the Holy Spirit, but at the same time you could use it for breath or wind. 
So, I mean, you know, it has to do with grammatical gender and not anything else when it comes to the Holy Spirit. Ta is a, is a neuter article in the singular. It's another article that sounds like that, but it's in the plural, ta with an alpha. Spirit, penuma, there, a capital P, respectively so. Nu, epsilon, upsilon, now they's called epsilon, mu, alpha. Circumflex over the, there's a circumflex over the upsilon, penuma. Uh, spirit, okay, and then that's not translated, that, that genesis article. Taste, okay, in the singular, uh, feminine construction of truth. Okay, uh, ale fias. The spirit of truth. Okay, who ha? Uh, same construction for the nominative and accusative, relative pronoun. And you see that there's a grab marker over it, along with a rub breathing marker. And that's what's, that's what's actually um, telling you that this is a relative pronoun. If you didn't have that grab marker, you think it's an article. But, you know, the article can, you know, um, it could, could be translated that one or whatever the case may be. Remember, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a weak demonstrative. Uh, it says from, okay, para, one of 17 or so sm uh, prepositions, small prepositions, you know, like petty and so on. The, and that's to father. Okay. Uh, goes from or goes forth. Okay, ek, and then you see that there's a preposition there. Uh, paru etai, paru etai, paru etai. And that's in the pa middle and past of construction. But this is, this is, okay, an oh my word. Okay, this is an oh my word. Now over here is in the present. So the formula stands. This is a present and indicative middle and passive construction in the third person. Okay, singular. And it has to be that the Holy Spirit is very active because the formula is that an uh, a deponent word, though middle and passive in form is or passive in form is active in meaning. And this is in the present tense. Okay, so, I mean, he's active. That's just a formula for all my, all my uh, words um, over here in the present. He, ekenas, and that's a demonstrative pronoun. So you have, you have your first and second personal pronouns and your third person personal pronouns and your relative pronouns and your article that can be a, a, a pronoun, you know, like that one and all that. And then you have your, you know, your, uh, your relative pronouns and stuff like that. The monster says the relative pronouns are a whole bunch of pronouns. Okay? So, a canos, uh is, is translated, okay, he here. Okay? Not just that, but he. A canos, Okay? A canos. Okay? Now, uh, if we go on, will bear witness. And so, that's something that's easy. Mar, mar. Okay? Martor. Martor. Marto rese. Marto, marto rese. Okay. Easy for you. <laughs> so, so the, the, um, the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, let me see here. The lexical, lexical form uh, has, this is an epsilon uh, contract verb. Martureo, right? Epsilon contract or, or verb. And, and um, so the epsilon length into an eta, okay, which that happens uh, before tense formative. So that's easy, like like in the words, the stesitai in uh, Micah chapter uh, 5, verse 3 in the Greek Septuagint, you know, he will stand or whatever the case may be, he will rise. And there's a sigma there. You see the sigma? That that sigma right right below the the word witness, right below the 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 T ah or the, the sort of the, the I and the T in witness. Okay, uh will bear witness. Right there, that sigma, which is sometimes called the innovocalic sigma, right? Um that sigma, okay, is used for the future for the future tense. Now we saw it in PEMSO. But we actually really didn't see it because it's, 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 it's hidden underneath the appearance of the accident of uh, uh, accidents of uh, the sea. 
You understand what I'm saying? So you don't really see it there. You hear it, but you don't see it. But over here, you clearly see the sigma. Okay? So that's just that they didn't need a PC or KC to form this at all. I mean, you know, they didn't need that. All right. Uh, Martur, Marturese. And so you have your third person personal ending from the primary active personal ending chart. The IOTA is a personal ending there. Sometimes people say that's A, that the, the A is a personal ending, the epsilon IOTA. So the sigma is 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 forming uh, the future tense here. This is in the future tense, uh, future indicative uh, active, because the 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 a or the iota is an active person is a primary active active personal ending. Uh, concerning peri, that's another preposition like para. Concerning me, and that's uh, actually is in the emphatic emu. Emu. Now, grammatically, it's, it's not really, it's a slight emphasis, but preaching-wise and teaching-wise, man, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta really be teaching, in my opinion, that this is very emphatic, because it's, it's, it's testifying about Jesus. You see, it's just, the, 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 listen, it's about him. Him. Okay. <laughs> you know? You understand what I'm saying? If I could put an epsilon right on before the, the, the English hymn, you know, before it's just a hymn or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Just to emphasize that that what we talk about primarily, the, 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 listen, the story of the gospel primarily is about Jesus. His cross, his burial, his resurrection. You understand what I'm saying? And that's why uh, John concentrates very much so on the father-son relationship, even though it wasn't a father-son relationship before the incarnation, just read uh, Hebrews chapter 1, verses uh, five, 5 and 6, and chapter 5, verse 5, and chapter 7, verse 3. No father, no mother, you understand what I'm saying? In verse 3 of chapter 7, as I lose my voice, as a King James only curse, you know what I'm saying? The Holy Spirit is, a, is, is clearly a person here. He's going to testify. No, a force can't testify, I don't care. Force can't testify. He's going to be a helper. He's going to be a. He's going to be a, a paracletas. He's going to be a, 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 a intercessor. He's going to be a I mean. He's going to be a helper. He's going to be a counselor. Come on, man! With the, with the, with the garbage for the dollar. It says very clearly that he's going to speak about Jesus. Someone I'm saying very clearly, clearly. Martu <laughs> rese in the future. Meaning when 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 listen when Jesus is glorified, then the Holy Spirit is going to come. Now, the prophecy is completed. You understand? He's here, and he 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 came at the day of Pentecost. Well, Muhammad didn't come at the day of Pentecost. You understand what I'm saying? Ah, he didn't. Muhammad, uh, you know, came in the year 600. You know, uh, A.D. He came very much later. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying, right? I mean, it was, it's not Muhammad that, that, that this is speaking about, or chapter 14, the chapter that came before. No, 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 no. No. I know we have the Bible. I know we have the, the, the greatest book in antiquity. And I know another thing. I know that you got rid of your scriptures. And I know that we didn't. I know that there is a uh, organization, Christian organization, by the way, that's taken a digital shot, photographs of every existing Greek manuscript that there is available to the Christian church. And I know that you guys did the opposite. I know that you Muslim people got rid of your so-called holy scriptures by burning them because uh, someone actually was a, um, you know, a worshiper of goddesses. I wonder who that was. To say that Muhammad, uh, to say that Muhammad was actually uh, here in the text being prophesied as the one coming is an... Uh, is an insult to God. I'm just saying. It's an insult to God. All across the board. 
the Holy Spirit is the one being prophesied here in this text. And he is the one being prophesied in this text, whether you like it or not. Say, Holy Spirit being prophesied in this text, in the text of uh, John chapter 14, in the text in uh, John chapter 16, all across the barn. The Trinity exists. Because she, the Quran, actually has uh, we created this and we created that. Now, what, what, what was that talking about? If there ain't no Trinity, what was this we business hanging around? But forget about that for now. I don't want to make this uh, a Christian versus Islam thing, but you guys are the one, you know, insinuating your 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 interpretations in this text. You're the one saying that no, no, it's not the Holy Spirit being prophesied in this text and the other text. Uh, Jesus is actually saying that Muhammad is going to be the comforter, coming to comfort. But there's a couple of problems. First of all, there's a problem with Islam. I'm going to get that in a, into that in a second. But there's a problem with that interpretation. Why? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Right, right, up, up, right up in your face. Because the, the problem is that if you have Jesus sending. Okay, Muhammad in the in the in the in the future. Well, you have Jesus. He is. You have Jesus being greater than Muhammad. Now you don't have Jesus being greater than Muhammad in your in your Islamic faith. He's not greater. He's one of uh, many prophets. He's called the Word of Allah. Now Muhammad is called the Prophet of Allah, greater than Jesus in your Quran. You understand what I'm saying? But that's a problem with that because. If you say that, that Jesus is prophesying that he sent Muhammad, he becomes greater than Muhammad. You send that so so the, the so the word of Allah becomes greater than the prophet of Allah. Well, you guys say you're in the in university, figure it out. It doesn't take a genius to you. You don't have to be in a university to figure these things out, man. So right in that scenario, I mean, if, 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 if he's being prophesied in these scriptures, in these holy scriptures, by the way, well, Jesus becomes automatically greater than Muhammad. You understand that, don't you, over there in Islam? You see? So why do you need our scriptures to validate, okay, your prophet? Why? I thought that they were corrupt. They can't pick and choose whether they're corrupt or not. You understand what I'm saying? They're not corrupt. They're not corrupt. We got more copies of uh, Greek manuscripts than your, than your uh, uh, so-called holy uh, Quran. And by the way, I mean you got you got something called maps all across the board collaborating the authenticity of the scriptures. Well, you know what you know what oh, you 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 want to know what that is? Oh, I thought you was in a university. M and maps manuscript evidence. I already told you about them. A in maps, archaeological discoveries. Well, we got tons of it on our side, and you just got, you know, what? What, uh, what, Mecca in yours? Come on, man. And then you have uh, prophecies. <laughs> Thousands of prophecies came to pass, including uh, the coming of the Messiah in our scriptures. You got, I mean, you got, you know, you got a, a self fulfilling prophecy that he returned to, uh, that he returned to, uh, he went to Mecca. I mean, come on, man. And then you got uh, the scriptures for in the S in uh, maps. You understand what I'm saying? And that's just all there is to it. Now you you got a problem with Islam. This is the problem with Islam. This is the this is this is this is the the beauty of Jesus vers versus and you ain't got a savior. No, I'll tell you what that is. Millions of Muslims have come to the Christian faith because they see the beauty of Jesus. They see the holiness of Jesus. And no one else. Now, they say that they came to Islam because, you know something, they were tired, they were sick and tired, by the way, of trying to save themselves. Now, this is this is the problem. That in, in Islamic faith, you got to, in, this, in, the, in the Islamic faith, you, you faith, you got the scales of Allah. Well, I mean, you know what a scale is. I mean, you got some stuff over here, some stuff over there, and and you weigh the scales to see which one weighs more. But the problem is that the works um, that you do and the bad works that you do, you don't even know how much are there in the, scale, in the scales. So you don't know if you're going to heaven or to hell. 
That's the problem. Well, that's the ugliness of, of, of that religion that you don't know. You don't have any assurance of salvation. And not only that, though, you, you don't even know if you can go to Mecca. Now, Mecca, going to Mecca is a requirement in the Islamic faith. And this is the problem. You got about 1.3 or something like that. Let's just say 1 billion. Uh, it's more than that, but let's just, just round it off to 1 billion uh, 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 Muslims in the world. Now, about 2 million of those Muslims go to uh, Mecca every year. Now, that's, that's, that's the space. <laughs> that's the capacity. It can't be anymore. And, and, and the problem is that some people that go there don't even make it because of the stampedes and stuff like that. They kill themselves off, you know, and, and shut other people's uh, opportunity to go to Mecca by, by stomping on them and trampling on them like, like herds. It's like the bulls rushing and stuff like that, man, just to go. Because they know they have to go. That's a requirement. And if they don't go, they're going to hell. There is a hell in Islam. There is a hell to pay. The problem is that not everybody can go. The, expect of, the expected life of a Muslim is about 70 years of age. You understand what I'm saying? 70 years. So you multiply 2 million times 70, and that's about... Uh, 150, 140 million Muslims can go in a lifetime. 140 million. That's it. Out of the one point, let's say 3 billion Muslim people in the world, only about 140 million can go in a lifetime. That means that more than 1 billion, uh, let's say 1 point, uh, 1.1, 1. 1, uh, you know, a little bit more than that. A point, one point something. Okay, billion people can't go. So only two million, two million people can go every year, and you got one point three billion Muslims. Man, that means that a whole bunch of millions and millions of hundreds of millions of Muslim people. Can't go to Mecca, but Mecca is is a requirement. You have to go, unless you 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 know um, you know uh, physically unable to go or financially unable to go. But if you're financially able to go, and there's a lot of people that are in the Islamic faith, they they, they can go. There's no excuse. Get they ain't got no kick. Well then, I mean you know you you you're going to hell. That's the problem with that. Religion is it's a, it's, a, it's a fleshly religion. It's a man-made religion only. I mean, you got your gurus hanging around in heaven and stuff like that, satisfying the sexual desires of men that die. And ain't not, and ain't, and when they get there, they ain't no gurus. It's just like the Mormon faith. I mean, you know, you got procreation all throughout all eternity and stuff like that. And then when they die, they ain't got none. You know what I'm saying? That's just a, that's just the deal. It's fleshly religion. Oh, you can tell that a religion is a religion of the flesh when it tries to save themselves. You understand what I'm saying? That's just a man-made religion. Christianity says that you can't save yourself. That, that only Christ can take away your sins. And, and, and he was uh, the one raised uh, from the dead bodily, by the way. He's the only one that's the Savior. And that is the beauty of Jesus. That you can come to him as you are. And that's just the deal. Now, what did we learn in this uh, study? Well, we learned that, I mean, you know, we learned that, uh, that, um, that you know, about the Parakletos, that, 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 listen, the Holy Spirit is an advocate. I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a intercessor. He's a, he's a helper. He's a lawyer. I mean, that's just all across the board. And he's the one prophesied over here, not anybody else. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the deal. And we saw, you know, the I was talking about it now, the beauty of Christianity. The faithfulness of it all. Having assurance. There's no assurance in Islam. There's no assurance in the, in the Catholic faith. There's no assurance in the Mormon uh, church. There's no assurance in the, Je in the Jehovah's Witness uh, congregation. You understand what I'm saying? There's no assurance as a Buddhist. There's no assurance. There's no assurance. It's a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo going on and making prayers to yourself and stuff like that in the monastery and the Shaolin Temple, and that's about it. We learn that um, you know about the 
the personality of the of the spirit that he's not a force. Getting back to uh, you know us between us, uh, the debate uh, between us and uh, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. And let me tell you something about Jehovah's Witnesses. At least you know they're not killing everybody. Say what you will about Jehovah's Witnesses. The only people that they killed is themselves with their blood transfusion policy. They're not they're taking no guns and stuff like that and stomping people and and, and snuffing people out. You understand what I'm saying? They, at least they don't do that. They're not a violent uh, cult, I should say. Because it's not really a religion. It's a cult. You know, it's a sect. But they're not violent. The only one that they do violence to is really... And then they have their, they have their history of violence. I mean, everybody does. But they really... Um, you know, the, the blood transfusion is what really kills them off. And suicide, not anything else. You understand know what I'm saying? So that's just to be a, so so the so we can have a debate with Jehovah's Witnesses and, and you know we can have a debate also you know there are people in the Islamic community that that are brave and then and they and then they uh, they they uh, debate people uh, on stage and, and and stuff like that. Now I um, really want to uh, you know commit to you um, that uh, people like Abdul Salib. Abdul Salib, who came out of the Islamic faith and actually uh, appeared on a, a Ligonier Ministries uh, program with R.C. Sproul. R.C. Sproul uh, has since uh, gone to be with the Lord, and I don't really hear about Abdul Salib anywhere. I hope he's still with us because he, he's very uh, a, a key to, to spread this, 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 you know, the beauty of Jesus to his uh, Isla Islamic uh, uh, community. Um, so I hope he's still around, but you know that others are still around anyway. You know, um, so that's not that's not going to go away. There are Christian people that were in Islam and they got out because they they saw the beauty of Jesus. They saw eternal security in Christianity. They 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 they, they saw that indeed there was somebody in this religion that that actually took away their sins. Uh, Christ took away the sins of the world. You know what I'm saying? Every, anybody can come to Jesus. You know that's just the deal. But we saw the personality of the Spirit, that He is, okay, a member of the Trinity, that He is God, the Parakletas, the, He is the, the helper, the advocate, the, 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 the lawyer, if you will, coming alongside the Christian and helping uh, him or her out according to the will of God. So we saw that. Well, this is Angelo Quinones giving glory to um, the Lord Jesus Christ. And in the Holy Spirit, to God the Father, God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And that means that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were very, mu were very much alive at the time that Jesus said those words. You know, please subscribe to my channel. Please give me a thumbs up and please leave a comment on the screen. Now, um, you'll find this uh, in the Trinity folder if you didn't get to it already. There's a Trinity folder on my channel that's called uh, the Trinity. Okay, and uh, I think I'm going to really rename it the Trinity, the Biblical Basis for the Doctrine of the Trinity. Uh, it's a sort of the subtitle uh, for that. So I want to thank you for uh, joining me. And uh, again, please uh, subscribe to my channel. And please leave a comment on the screen. Thank you.